So here you go in the back, and I'm doing a little bit of shop update, a little shop update. Um, so this is what's going on. This is probably going to be the new parts room. You know, you got a light in here, it'll be nice and bright. I'll do it for camera. Roughly, this is going to be closed off. All of this is going to be waterproof. These are what's going to be my walls. This will be tight up against each other. That's going to be an opening, but I'm not worried about that. It's going to be whatever. Um, I could put that tarp closer to it, but I'm not worried about that. Um. I mean, my door is going to here, so this will be all open. This will be all a part of my shop, so. But, that will be closed tight, and I'm making it where to go around. Making a trail to go that way for parts, but most of them are going in here, so. Don't really matter. Um, I still got to fix this leak. This leak's still pretty bad. Oh. Well, I guess I got to fix that, too. Some reason that came undone. God dang it! How my stuff got wet. But whatever. Charger got wet. Come on. Oh my god. Whatever. But well, this definitely needs to be fixed because this is pretty bad. But so yeah, I'll just get back to you when I do whatever. So you can see that's closed off up there. That's just it's waterproof. There's plywood up there, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but. And see, I got all my tires in here. I got shocks, an old weird bumper I made. Um, so yeah. Um, this, like I said, is going to be up. Might just use a tarp as my door because I really don't care. I mean, I don't need no. Don't mind that. I got to sweep that up. I fell out of that. I mean, they're both broken, so I mean. really care <laughs> but um yeah I mean really not bad for the roofing all I gotta do is get tin from there down soon hopefully soon 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 um I said this is gonna be up higher um so yeah that's about it for today probably peace so I just put this little thing on. Now about to walk across here. Um, it's still gonna go out farther because of that. Well, I'll probably put a little piece of wood that goes like that. Um, that just that be thrown down. Um, this is because snow would get down in there. Um, but a piece of plywood's gonna go like that. Cause I don't even like that tin cause that tin's garbage, so. Or another piece of tin because Hopefully I'll get a bunch of tin from my dad because it's going, all this is going to be waterproof. It's going to start right here before it goes right in the rivets before it don't leak. That's my problem. It's getting under there. As you can see, it's getting built up. Um, but when I get that other tin, I'll cut the spray foam out and I'll line it right up and then the water will go up and over or just sit there. I don't really care as long as it don't leak. Um, but all that will come off. All the spray foam will be cut. And yeah. Um... Looks like something's going on over here. I mean, it's not leaking though, so it doesn't seem to be, at least. Um, but now I can walk across the gym, see? This will all get tinned someday. Then I got that. I'm gonna fill in this too. I might do that right now, actually. I don't know. I got another piece of wood. So I'm gonna do that quick. So now I got that addition. This addition, this one goes down. One day I'll push it down. It just needs to be pushed down. But for now, the screws away. You know, this goes laps over so water shouldn't get down there. But look at all this walking room. This thing's getting big. I do gotta do something for here, like I said. Probably just another piece of plywood. But actually, I might go do that now too. It's pretty much it for today. Um, put that down so. All of this should be completely waterproof. And it's sad that I use just normal screws to go into my tin for that. We need some, uh, washers, rubber washers on their screws. Um, you walk up to here. Got all this. One day, as you can see, that's all closed off. I gotta fix that little spot right there, but that's all good. Um, I'm gonna block all that off. And all of that off. So, yeah. But I don't know about today, but if I do, I'll show you. But the only stuff I need tin for is this. 
I mean, I could use, if I got enough tin, I'll do this all, but for now, I just want, actually, I just want this right here done for tin because I'm tired of it leaking. Um, but right there is where I want tin for 100%. Like I said, I'll cut all the spray foam and crap, and I'll put one layer of screws all the way down right there. Then another all the way down. Oh, I'm sagging down. Right on the other side of it. And then you just do. But pretty close together. Like that far of a gap. But then the rest of the way down you do normal amount of screws. Um, we don't talk about. I, I definitely didn't only put like four screws in this. Like you don't see that. Um, but this don't leak. It's just that. Because spray foam ain't waterproof really. So I just used it because that's what I had. Um. Is it even sadder that half of my shop is held up by this little dinky thing? She's mint. Um, but we'll see how she survives in winter. She doesn't move. I'm going to put a few more support beams on her, but this thing's huge now. Look at how big this is. You got the old shop, the addition, and all of this. But just a solid. We got all of this now. So, yeah. To finish off the update... Sorry if it was going to be dark. I finished this. And you see? No gap. Cover that up a little tarp. This is just parts for a racer. I have a little jug, it, jug if anybody wants to throw anything in there that comes over. For that racer. Because that's going to be my racer. They can. Um, this will be the racer for um, anything bigger you can just throw down there. But these are pretty much insulated. Um goes all the way around. Um got this little switch for the light. Um out here I put that. Hold on, let me turn my flash on. So I just organized all my nuts and bolts. All of these have the spaces in them. Got a lot of those. Not that they're my favorite, but those are I just put them in there first to them. Oh come on, suckers. And more, and even more, but bigger version. Now we're getting these are all welded washers on them. Some nuts and bolts already put together. Some just straight bolts, which I love. Some more just straight bolts. I ain't pulling my mess with it. Um, some like um, motor mounts and stuff. That's just one big bolt. These are just random. These are batteries for batteries. I want to get more of those. Some washers. I got a bunch more down there, but I didn't feel like going through them all. And some not um not washers. I got those. I got those. And I got more of those. But empty. Empty. See, and these ones are broke. So, but these are all lubricated. Lubricated. So, because they were all rusted, as you could see. Like, look at that, like, all rust, but, um, yeah. Never mind, I can't, my phone's too low, but, as you can see, this is here. I just threw it up there just for blocking a little bit of wind. Gee, the shelf's still there. Brought my trailer in here. I got a lot of stuff that fits in here. Um, for this little of a, I got a snow machine. My mom's tractor for mowing. The racer. My trailer. Up there are my other three mowers under tarp. Um, I could throw another lawnmower right here now, which I'm gonna. Um, which is probably gonna be the Craftsman the gray one. Um, but it's the blue Craftsman racer. Um, what else? I got this shelf. It's pretty much pretty much all covered up because it was getting rotted and stuff, but it should be good now. I had a whole bunch of new stuff: brake cleaner, starter fluid. I've had Lucas. It's injector clean. Stuff's great. It fixes everything. Especially V-twins when they're running bad. You know, when it's not, like, running good. It, if you own a V-twin, you know what I mean. Um, this stuff is good, too, for... It, I don't know if it stops leaks, but it's still good. Um, got some of this. New thing of oil, even though I still got one in my ammo box. Because that's all used oil. I still use it, but... But this stuff right here, well, 
It's injector clean and it works. It will do anything. It will make your motor run perfect. Don't ask me how they did it, but and spray paint, more spray paint, and oil, like I said. Um, I'll probably do a video when I get those new lights. Um, just because I'm bored and I'm running out of videos. I got a new set of these, which I better already had to use like three because the craftsmen. Of course, I put them up there, and the first thing they do is fall down. They're just hose clamps. They're awesome for everything. They're good to hold in your off-road lawnmower for just holding them in there for if you ever break something. See if the old radio is working yet. Doesn't seem like it. Um, I'm gonna have to take it all apart, spray, take an air to it. Um, tomorrow probably I'll be doing a video on the snow machine. Most likely I'm cleaning the car tomorrow on it because it's running like I showed you in the video. But there's a craftsman. I'm gonna do light tail lights. Yeah, I'll show you the tail lights. Look like I don't think I showed you guys yet. But come over here. You got the little switch. And they're bright. But like I said, they're going right here. One's going right here. One's going right here. I'm just been too lazy to do it. Still got another one I could hook up. I just gotta get some other one to go under there. Um, these ones I don't like as much as my cousin's. He's got almost the same ones. These ones, I, you won't be able to see, I don't think. Let me turn my blue LED lights on. Um, now you can't see, but they have little lumps on them. Um, all my lights work now. But that lawnmower right there is probably going to go under there. Um, old Betsy. She hasn't been started in a while. I should start it right now, actually. Maybe I will. But, snow, my snowblower might be my mom's snowblower. I had to start that thing up too, but should be fine. The goat cart. So yeah, peace. It's all done. I don't know how it's coming out. My phone's about to die. That's in here.